Hi, my name is Jess and I'm an analytical chemist. I currently work for a company called Cooper Vision and they manufacture contact lens solutions like this bottle. I previously have worked for a company um, that tested medical devices as an analytical chemist as well. Um, so an academic background about me is that I graduated from university last year, so 2019, and I graduated in a degree in bioscience with forensic investigation. Um, my final year of university, um, I did a research project in analytical chemistry and um, I knew I enjoyed it. So I carried on um, through that into industry. Um, so I was very fortunate enough to have two jobs in analytical chemistry after I left uni. Um, so what I do, what analytical chemists do, is we analyse and assess um, chemicals. And we use a different range of machines to do so. So, for example, my current job, um, we are making sure that the ingredients on the back um, are the right concentrations that the companies are declaring. And we use machines such as auto titrators and an HPLC to determine so. Um, so we are technically that safety barrier between making the products and selling them. Um, so we are analysing the different chemicals and um, if they are too high, they are, will harm our customers. And if they're too low, the um, bottlers of solutions wouldn't be doing what they need to do. Um, so we are getting that safety, safety filter to make sure that there are no out of specification slash harmful products being sold to customers. Um, in my current, in my previous job, we tested medical devices and we worked with companies that were research and development, developing um, their own products. And so we tested um, hand sanitizers, weight loss pills, um, ear drops for your ears um, that can be sold in boots. So um, walking into boots and seeing those products that I tested was pretty cool. Um, our main thing we tested was ventilators. And um, during Corona, we were very busy with um, companies developing ventilators for um, Corona patients. Um, so um, there's a lot of um, things you can do with analytical chemistry. And I've met a couple of analytical chemists that are working uh, manufacturing beers. Um, so that was really interesting to see how they, um, what machines they use, what they do. Um, and so there's endless things you can do as an analytical chemist. You can work in food, you can work in cosmetics, you can work in medicine and um, medical devices and um, healthcare. There's tons of things that you can do. Um, my favourite thing about this job is that um, I love working in a lab. I love being proactive and um, I love learning because there's endless things to learn in this job. Uh, there's you could work in here work in this job for a thousand years there'll be something new to learn and um, as machines get become more advanced as science develops there's always something to learn um, in the future I want to work in pharmaceuticals and developing medicines um, but I am enjoying my first year in industry after university and uh, yeah I'm just um, really enjoying it the um, with getting into the career, um, university is a common route. However, I think people have got into analytical chemistry through being an apprenticeship as a lab technician. So there isn't just an, an academic route. There's also industry route as well. And um, so it's important to consider those options. Um, so, yeah, I recommend this for anyone who enjoys science and enjoy working in a lab, enjoys working for um, companies that manufacture products. Um, and yeah, so thank you.